So be honest with you, ladies and dudes, I really do miss Castle, and I wish it should have had a night nice season, so we can get a couple questions that are left unanswered. If they should have done it instead of the show called The Rookie. Well, anyway, hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobup1987. This is my review for a day. And today I have no review, ladies and dudes. But once again, it's time for another quick edition of Boobup1987's most quick videos. And what's today's most quick video of the day? Well, to tell you the truth, is I'm gonna go ahead and tell all of you people about the show called The Rookie, and I did see it last night on ABC. I will say it's somewhat of a good show, but somewhat of an okay show. And yes, it does feature our castle star, Nathan Fillon. It's so darn hard to pronounce that dude's last name. I'd rather call him Castle for short because it's a bit easier for me. About his new show, I will say it's somewhat good, somewhat okay. Well, for the first episode anyway. There are some positive things I do like about the show and some negative things I don't like about the show. Hi, C. How you doing? <sighs> well, I'll just go ahead and tell you about my main positives and my main negatives to the show. So, without further ado, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my positives and negative feelings that I have with the first episode of The Rookie, Castle's new show. So, what are my positives of this show called The Rookie? I will say for my positives, I will say I did enjoy the costing. Well, I know Castle is one of them, but I do enjoy those other people who are the main cost. Well, you know, the main police officers and some people we don't know of. And yes, ladies and dudes, I will tell you the truth right now about the new cost for the rookie. I really don't know them much. All I know is the guy who did Castle. Yeah, I will say all of them are very good. They did a well done job with their characters, and I do care for some of them here or there, but they picked the rightful cost at the rightful time for this show. So yeah, my main first positive is the costing. Um, I also fell in love with the semitography. This is one of the best semitographies I did see so far for one of the shows. It was very sharp, very clean, it was very well fast paced, and it has really good picture quality. It's so darn lovely in so many ways. So yeah, I will say the cinematography is really, really good. I will say the best cop character uh, that I did enjoy for the show is definitely the female police officer, the partner of Castle. I really love this character. She has a great personality, great attitude, she has a bad A-word look on her face, she's a tough cookie, and she knows what the heck she is doing, you know, taking things seriously and teaching Castle's character how to be a really good cop. She's a really, really cool teacher. I just love this character to death. So yeah, I love the female police officer. She is truly the best one out of those three main cops who are the main teachers for those new characters who want to be the main rookies. Well, if you guys get the picture. Another good positive thing I do like about the show is definitely the drama. I freaking love the drama for this show. They did a very well done job with the drama. There's a whole lot of things going on, like there's some people who are out of control or somebody got killed. I remember there was one, one heartbreaking moment in that show where Castle's character got really heartbroken for with this poor chubby guy. He really cares about that chubby dude a lot since he only barely knew him for a short period of time. 
and it's a sad shame that poor dude passed away. It was really, really darn sad. I feel so sorry for that poor chubby guy for being killed by his own wife. Well, if you did see that episode, you'll know what I'm talking about. Is there another good positive thing I do like about the show? Um, I will say for the storyline itself, I will say it was pretty good. Not that great, but it's a pretty good start for the show. And, um, I will say it's good. Just good from start to finish. But there's a couple of major flaws I did found with this show. It really did bother me. Is there another good positive thing I do like about the show? I'm afraid that's it. That's all I could say about the positives. Oh yeah, um, Castle's character. I will say the Castle's character is pretty darn good. Um, he's a really good, likable character. He wants to take things seriously at his job and try to be a good cop as soon as he can. That's all I could say about, um, Castle's character. As is John... I forgot the dude's last name. Oh, John Norlin, if I remember right. Yeah, it was John Norlin. Oh my god, it's the last name right. Well, you guys get the picture. So yeah, I do enjoy Castle's new character. As this guy who wants to become a cop. So, that's all the positives I could say about this show. And now let's go on to my negatives. And I'm sure everybody will be surprised about this. Okay, for my first negative, I will say The Rookie is somewhat of a, a good show, but an okay show. Um, I do have some, like, a medium upper side mix feeling about it. I will say it's not that memorable as Castle. I know it's just an early start, but to tell you the truth, this ladies and dudes, I rather prefer Castle better because it's such a great show. I grew up with this show. It was a very fun show to watch. It had a great storyline, good memorable characters, beautiful cinematography, great comedy, good drama, good mystery, good romance. And I just wish they should have had a ninth season. I mean, a great conclusion to the show. And since there's only three mysteries that remain unsolved. Like, when the heck we're going to see Castle's father again? He still remains a mystery to us. Will we ever see this dude again? Or I wish we could get to know the backstory between Castle's father and and Castle's um, stepmother, the one that we knew from the 8th season. I want to get to know the background story of what happened when Castle's father had a relationship with Castle's stepmother. And how the heck they became such a duo, I guess. And there's only one mystery that remains unsolved for Castle is I want to get to know what type of path that Castle wants to go to. Does he want to continue on being a private detective to with Beckett or does he want to continue on being a novelist? I really want to know which path that he needs to go to. And I hope he, whatever choice it is, it might be the rightful one. So, I will say, I really miss Castle. It's a really good show to watch. And I wish they should have worked on the ninth season. If things can work things out. And try to make it right, of course. And maybe that way, the Castle show will be complete. I will say Rookie is a good show, but somewhat of an okay show for me. But, I just miss Castle way more. Okay, my other negative I have with this show is they gave Castle's main character the wrong love interest at the wrong time. It feels like that stupid evil curse all over again that came from that stupid false series of Taken. You know, where those stupid directors, the producers, the screenwriters, whoever these people are, 
they really did gave Brian Mills the wrong love interest at the wrong time. And that love interest that Brian Mills had is nothing but a whore. And we need to stay away from whores. Whores are really, really dangerous. And they're nothing but a dangerous disease for all of us. Yeah, in this show, in the rookie, Castle's character uh, fell in love with this bartender person. And I don't know why he wants to sleep with a woman that he doesn't know of. And that was the most stupidest thing I ever seen in that show. Seeing our beloved Castle play a character who got divorced and he has a bad life. He's trying to restart his life all over again and try to be a cop as soon as he can. And here he is at a stupid bar being with this woman that he doesn't know of. I think that was kind of stupid for those directors, the producers, the screenwriters, whoever these people are, giving us a dumb a word evil curse of a show where a main character is in love with the, with the wrong woman at the wrong time. It was way, way too rushy. That was so darn stupid of them. So I have a message for all the directors, the producers, the screenwriters, whoever these people are. Please stop giving these main characters the wrong love interest at the wrong time. Whoever these women are, they're nothing but dumb A-word whores. All they care about is just being whores and being, getting involved with the curse of doing slutty things and just be with someone that we should like. Something like that, so stop doing that. I'm sick and tired of that stupid plot line that involves a very stupid thing indeed. Okay? So no more of that. Well, that goes to the same thing about Third Person, one of the worst movies I really don't like from the old gray my Liam Neeson. They had that stupid plot development for that movie. Well, if you guys know me, I just don't like that plot line at all. So that's the first main negative. And my second main negative of the show, if Castle's act, well, if, if Castle's character ever find a better love interest, just let him be with that bank teller. I think he's way more interested in that bank teller lady. The one that came from the beginning of the show. I think she might be a much better love interest than the one for, who's in the bar. So, I just wish we could see that bank teller lady again instead of that bartender lady. Because I think that bank teller knows that main character very well and I think they had a good history with each other. Maybe they should have thought about that idea instead of the one where... He has a relationship with a, a whore who's a bartender. And that's all the negatives I can find for the, the rookie show. So overall, I'm going to give this rookie show a, a 7.5 out of 10. There are some good things about it, but sadly there's some bad things about it. And to tell you the truth is I just missed Ca Castle. It's still a much better show than this one. You know, it's so darn memorable to me, and there are still some questions that are left unanswered, if you know what I mean. So, that is it for now, so I'll be back for my next videos to come, and I promise to all of you I will do another top 10 list for all of you. So, for my next top 10 list is the top 10 best magical scenes ever in one of our favorite films of all time. So yeah, we're going to do a magical list for October. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting thing indeed. So be prepared for my latest top 10 list to come. My magical top 10 list that you'll never forget in YouTube history. And I'll see you guys later on. Sayonara!